hello good morning and welcome back to my channel biochemistry quick review and guide and today in this video i'm going to review this textbook of biochemistry named integrated textbook of biochemistry second edition by indumati v and sabhagya lakshmi this book is written as per cbma curriculum published by paras medical publisher so i got this book from the publisher as a complimentary copy and few months back uh, i met one short video regarding this book but today i'm going to tell you about uh, now uh, i want to review this book because i have gone through not all but some of the chapters and i found this book is quite good rather very good for the first year mba students okay so i don't know what is the price uh, because this is a complimentary copy so they are not writing about the price of the book probably see i don't know whether price is written or not but it it may not be very <coughs> it may not be very so costly excuse me so here they have taken care of all the components of cbme see ece case based learning basic concepts basic concepts of clinical biochemistry laboratory self directed learning small group discussion bucnet based questions summary and multiple choice questions everything is included so this book is going to be very helpful for the students who are studying uh, biochemistry for the first time in their first mbas course so i have gone through the color is i mean the book is quite colorful as you can see the different sections organized in different chapters okay now i will take you to one of the chapters and just try to show how uh, suppose this is the chapter for hemoglobin hemoglobin chapters so uh but no this is not normally this is protein okay so protein metabolism of proteins here is hemoglobin <coughs> or in that matter i just what i just wanted to show you is that each chapter is followed by self assessment questions long essay questions carrying 10 marks so these are the important questions from the particular topic particular uh, uh, chapter so they have given what are the probable uh, long questions that can be asked from this chapter so self assessment questions long questions see one two three long questions they have given then they have also given some topics which uh, we can inculcate in small group discussions like here discuss integration of metabolic pathways of carbohydrate proteins and lipids then they have given some multiple choice questions then viva voice questions but this this does not have much okay but uh, let me show you another chapter which i was studying that is uh, So this chapter on proteins. So each chapter is followed by self-assessment questions, important questions from the chapter, then short essay questions like five marks, five mark questions, short essay questions. Describe the structure, describe primary structure of insulin and how it influences the function of a protein. See? Describe alpha helix and beta pitted sheet and how it influences the secondary organization of protein. Describe the structure of myoglobin and how it influences the functional organization of protein. Like that, there are some short essay questions carrying five marks. Then we have short answers or give reasons or justify. 
each carrying three marks or two marks. Primary structure of proteins, difference between motif and dominant proteins, super secondary motifs, then serine and serine are essential for activation of enzymes. Give regions like that. Small group discussions. They have given some topics for small group discussions followed by multiple choice questions. So each and every chapter is very uh, nicely organized. Okay. And it's uh, uh, just like a notebook. There's nothing much extra. Whatever is there, we have to study. It's very compact. Here also in this particular chapter, so self-assessment questions, long essay questions carrying 10 marks. Some questions they have given, see, all important questions on the topic. Then short essay questions, each carrying 5 marks, all these important questions. Then give regions. Here, uh, students fail to answer, most of the students fail to answer this explanation questions, give regions or justify. Like by chemical basis for ammonia toxicity, the students, if they have the questions, they can find out the answers to these questions and that will help to uh, score more marks in the exam. Melt maple syrup, urine digest, few chromocytoma, synthesis of creatine and Lomans reaction, like carcinoid syndrome. Homocystinuria, so GABA and GABA sunt. So, this kind of small, small, so not. Then, Vignette based questions carrying 5 to 10 marks. This is uh, most of the long questions we are asking this kind of Vignette based questions where we will be giving one uh, clinical history. Then, related to that clinical history, there will be some biochemical questions. Like in this case, a male child was brought to the casualty following an attack of generalized convulsions. Child was found to have delayed milestones and mental retardation. A tendency for hyperpigmentation of skin associated eczema and mousy odor of the body and urine was observed. Child was dull and had a blank look. Screening of blood and urine for various metabolic disorders showed here blood phenylalanine 20 mg per dl, normal is 1 mg per dl. So, urine ferric acid, ferric chloride test, trans and blue green color, go through this test, screening test is positive. So, now you can answer what is this case. Phenyl ketonuria, isn't it? So, what is your diagnosis? Phenyl ketonuria, name the enzyme deficiency, phenylalanine hydroxylase. Enumerate the biochemical basis for the clinical and laboratory findings in this case. So, here you have to explain uh, the different. Uh, in the clinical uh, findings like why there is mental retardation, why there is convulsion, why there is hyperpigmentation, those clinical symptoms and why there is mousy odor or eczema or mousy odor of the urine. Those whatever clinical features or symptoms observed, those things you have to explain. What is the cause of those uh, biochemical, uh, those symptoms you have to explain in terms of biochemical, in terms of biochemistry. Then discuss the metabolic metabolism of phenylalanine in five months. So this way, uh, answer questions are given. Say a case of this is a case of phenylketonuria. So you have to answer. You can practice. This is a very good book. This is another case, another case, and these are the questions. So this book is going to be very very helpful. Even they have given uh, topics for small group discussions, self-directed learning. Multiple just questions, even viva questions also, viva was questions. Okay. So this makes so this is a very good book. Students can always go and purchase. This video is not uh, any sponsored video, but I just wanted to give my feedback uh, to the students regarding this book. So how good this book is, whether they can uh, buy it for their uh, for their studies or not. But mm, yeah. I suggest this is a very good book. They can always go for it. Very good, very good book. Very good book. Thank you.